morning friends welcome to our channel genius structures i'm your host dr suman kulkarni uh, today we shall see the multiple choice questions that have appeared in uh, 2020 gate civil engineering question paper so let us start uh, here is the first question in a two dimensional stress analysis the state of stress at a point is sigma is equal to uh, the values are given in a matrix form sigma xx tau xy this is first row tau xy sigma yy is the second row the necessary and sufficient condition for the existence of the state of pure shear at the point p is uh, there are four options that have been given so we have to uh, solve this uh, question uh, using standard results for principal stresses okay so this is the question uh, which has appeared for one mark in set 1 so let us see the uh, solution so this is the more circle for the given uh, problem now uh, here we can see uh, sigma 1 is along positive x axis and sigma 2 is along negative x axis uh, both are magnitude wise same but are opposite in nature so sigma 1 is equal to minus sigma 2 Uh, equation for principal stress is sigma one. It is equal to sigma x x plus sigma y y whole divided by two plus radius, and sigma two uh, same equation with radius term as minus. So uh, we can equate these two with opposite signs, and hence if you simplify this, you will get sigma x x plus sigma y y is equal to zero. So option C is correct. Uh, next question is for two marks. Distributed load of fifty kilonewton may occupy any position either continuously or in patches on the girder PQRST as shown in the figure. Uh, this figure is not to the scale. The maximum negative bending moment that occurs at the point R is uh, there are four values given. This also we will have to solve. Uh, so uh, the logic is that if the load let us say it is a train passing over a bridge uh, so if it is completely occupying q and s then uh, whole uh, part will be subjected to sagging bending moment so for this part that is for r bending moment will be positive but some part is on p to q and some part is on s to t uh, so then Uh, that is the case when uh, r will be uh, developing negative bending moment so this is the position of loads that is udl is completely on pq patch as well as st patch and there is nothing on q to s okay so maximum hogging bending moment which is negative at r is possible if the udl is loaded on overhanging spans pq and st so this is how we can find the magnitude of hogging uh, hogging bending moment using influence line diagram so the answer is minus 56.25 kilonewton meter so uh, option a is correct okay uh, then question 3 uh, now we have to go to set 2 there were only two uh, questions in set 1 one. one was for one mark the other was for two marks same is the case in set 2 uh, one question is for one mark the state of stress represented by mohr circle shown in figure is pure shear uh, the same question or similar question which is asked in set 1 uh, similar question is asked in set 2 also so instead of asking uh, uh, the answers or the analysis uh, we have been asked the condition to identify the condition so pure shear is the uh, state of stress uh, which is represented by this particular mohr circle okay so option a is correct then prismatic bar uh, so there are three cases for this bar which is subjected to axial forces p1 p2 and third case is combined p1 and p2 <clears throat> and we have been asked to find the relationship between the strain energy stored okay Uh, so here for first case uh, strain energy stored is p1 square l upon 2 ae for second case uh, u2 
uh, is equal to p2 square l upon 2 ae and for third case p1 plus p2 bracket square l upon 2 ae so total strain energy will be equal to p1 square l upon 2 ae plus p2 square l upon 2 ae plus p1 p2 l upon 2 ae it is simplified formula for uh, third case okay and first and second cases they are separately there so obviously for third case uh, strain energy is more than uh, strain energy of first plus second so u is more than uh, u1 plus u2 uh, that is the uh, correct option which is option a so friends these are the questions that have appeared in uh, 2020 uh, gate civil engineering question uh, examination for strength of materials uh, if you are new to this channel do subscribe the channel like this uh, video and do share it and if you have any questions you can ask uh, through the comment section thank you